morning. I am Dr. Shashwar Sareen. I am an assistant professor at the Department of HPB Surgery and Liver Transplantation at Mahatma Gandhi Hospital. And I would like to share some of my views regarding liver transplantation, maybe dispel some of your myths. A liver transplantation is a revolutionary surgery that has now become standard of care for many indications regarding liver diseases. So there are three main causes why you might be recommended or you might consider liver transplantation. Number one and most commonly is liver cirrhosis. Now cirrhosis is a condition that occurs when your liver is chronically damaged. Now it might be because of hepatitis, might be because of alcohol, might be because of fatty liver. Now in this case your liver is continuously damaged and what is normal liver tissue is replaced by fibrosis and ultimately leads to cirrhosis. Now once you have cirrhosis you might not always require a liver transplant. If you're just cirrhotic and you're otherwise doing well, your lifespan, median lifespan is about 12 years. But when you develop ascites, which is a buildup of fluid in your abdomen, when you develop jaundice, when you develop recurrent bleeding either in the form of bleeding in your vomitus or a bleeding in your stools or you develop encephalopathy where you're not really conscious about where you are. In these cases your lifespan at a cirrhotic shortens dramatically from 12 years to only 2 years. Your median lifespan is 2 years. So it's very important to understand that if you keep taking medications you are not going to change your natural history of the disease. So it will just give you symptomatic benefit but not change the natural history of the disease. In this case, the only thing that has definite help and great help is liver transplantation. The second important indication is acute liver failure. Now acute liver failure is when there is a dramatic and large insult on the liver. It might be because of some medication that your body reacts to, might be because of hepatitis, might even be in pregnancy. In acute liver failure, generally patients have only a small window of a few days to a week before they become too sick and might succumb to liver failure. Transplantation here as well is the treatment of choice. The number third indication is liver cancer, which predominantly occurs in cirrhotics. In liver cancer, we have, we have limited treatment options, some surgical benefit and some intervention radiological procedures, but all of these procedures lead to recurrence if not treated. So the only way forward and the one which has maximum benefit is to replace your damaged liver with a new one in the form of transplantation. Transplantation generally has very good success rates ranging from 70 to 90 percent uh, five-year survival based on um, the indication for transplantation. If you have any other queries regarding transplantation please reach out to us and we'll be glad to help. Thank you.